Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Truth Hurts. Today, I'm going to be discussing red flag number 173, noticing narcissists everywhere. Before I begin, I want to display my deepest gratitude to Nikki Gillette, known as Positive Girl, from the website datingasociopath.com. Her article, Lack of Empathy, Guilt, Remorse, or Shame, was shockingly eye-opening and informative. Her article made me aware of whom I was dealing with, what I was dealing with, and how to deal with it. If you know nothing about narcissism, I strongly suggest you start with her website. Of all the articles I've studied, hers was the most dead-on, can't-be-disputed intelligence that highlighted Lilith's behavior and unveiled Lilith's narcissistic mask. This book... Once again, here we go again, this time with the Narcissist, Chapter 18, Narcissism. This book story was written before I even acknowledged Miss Gillette's article on what a sociopath is and, or what a narcissist was. Therefore, nothing is being fabricated out of favoritism. I pray to God this book helps you. The way Miss Gillette's article has helped me. There's an awareness movement today on narcissism where people are coming out of isolation and sharing their stories of the horrid abuse they experienced at the hands of these emotional vampires. These acts of abuse were great insults and great insults last a long time. More and more people are listening and being thankful they are not alone, tormented from the embarrassment of what they've been through. The reason why you ended up with a narcissist is because you knew nothing about what a sociopath or a psychopath was. That lack of knowledge allowed you to be duped and manipulated by them. Narcissism today is becoming a self-taught, self-educated behavior. With all the articles on and YouTube videos, when you thoroughly learn and understand the behavior, you start seeing narcissists everywhere. Prime example. Have you ever seen the 1988 cult movie classic, They Live? Where the wrestler, Rowdy, Roddy Piper, who stumbled upon a set of sunglasses, when he wore the glasses, he was able to see aliens disguised as humans that allowed him to wake up to the fact that aliens had taken over the earth and living amongst us. Aliens were able to live among humans because they created an illusion to dupe the humans. Well, it's the same principle with the narcissist. Just like the movie, Narcs are monsters, and knowledge is the sunglasses that provides you with the means to see them for what they really are. Wisdom gives empaths the power to see through a narc's bullshit and prevent them from thinking that the narcs are capable of being soulmates. You see, being naive is the greatest weapon greatest ally. It allows them to use their greatest weapon in their arsenal. Illusion. Making you think they love you. Please watch Red Flag number 149, Narcissistic Memory. Most people don't know a narc's true nature. Because narcs are the world's greatest actors and actresses. These monsters pretend to be good-natured angels, thinking they're good, or they're above everyone else, and they shit don't stink. That will have people saying, and I quote, Andrew, I must say, Lilith is a lovely person. It helps that she's a nurse, too. I am so happy for you both. I see the way she looks at you, and you look at her. Nothing can be sweeter than that. This fucking sickens a survivor of narcissistic abuse. To watch the not be praised for being a decent person. 
to a true survival? It's frustrating when they are the only ones to see how despicable, evil, sneaky, and cruel someone is. And everyone else is blind to it. This is why exposure is a necessity with narcissism. To inform society that monsters do exist. Monsters are demons. Today people don't understand that demons were once angels. Lucifer, the devil was once God's greatest angel, God's right hand. How does the devil operate with humans? He, he's handsome and pretends to be a friend. Helps you to gain your trust. Since you trust him, you make deals with him. When the deal is sealed, he immediately fucks you over. Let me ask you something. If you had someone that warned you that the person you loved was a narcissist, do you believe you would have stayed with your narc as long as you did? Hell no, you wouldn't. You would have taken it under consideration. You would have researched narcissism and you would run at the first few signs of red flags. When I discuss Lilith and point out her griminess, people want to say I'm bashing her, but I'm not bashing. It's fact, and facts can't be disputed. You can't blame me for what she did. Remember, it's not what they did, it's how they did it. There's a saying, turning a blind eye to evil only makes it stronger. Educating people only makes monsters weaker. Monsters can't lie and dupe people when people know the truth. The reason why, this is the reason why there's a narcissistic epidemic. People today don't want to share their knowledge or their mistakes. Out of sheer embarrassment or self, self, selfishness. You can't save your face and your ass at the same time. And since they have to learn their mistakes on their own, they expect you to do the same. People will say dumb shit like, do you feel good airing out your dirty laundry in public? Do you feel good telling people all your business? Don't you keep nothing private? Answer, yes I do. If I can help, one person not to feel like I did after a narcissistic discard and nurse them back to mental health back to the land of the living because a discard is an emotional death I feel good so far I've helped 892 people with 181 videos I dare you to find one video that didn't have a thank you on it. That's an accomplishment. This is why I have subscribers to my YouTube channel. Who are asking me not to change a thing about my deliveries. Because they can relate to everything I'm saying. Because what happened to me is almost identical to what they've been through. Please watch red flag number 151. New supply, old, old supply versus new supply. You have to look at a narcissist like a magician. Eve said it in her song, Not Today. Break up, leave, make up, plays. Use a magician with all them tricks up your sleeve. And while they are acting like a magician, you have to act like my cousin Vinny. And be the magician's worst nightmare. Remember what happened to Alakazam? When he did his act, every time he made something disappear, then he jumped on him. I mean, he nailed him. It was like, it's in his pocket. Or he's palming it. Oh, wait a minute, wait. there's a mirror under the table. Wait a second. It's joined in the middle and there's a spring around it. 
and it pops it open on the inside. That's how you have to be with a narcissist. You have to observe their behavior to learn their behavior. Please watch red flag number 158. Narcissists are thick as hell. The main reason why I chose to do these videos is to expose my narc's behavior and inform other people of the lies, the self-centeredness, the selfishness, the tremendous ego, the severe manipulation, the sexual promiscuousness. In the world's greatest military book ever written by man, The Art of War, intelligence is needed on the enemy to survive a war with them. Love is a battlefield and I'm the motherfucking general. Now, because you are armed with knowledge, and spot the behavior. You start recognizing narcissists everywhere. First, you start identifying people from your past. You will be like, holy shit, that was a narcissist. Then you start seeing you have more than one in your lifetime. Now, remember me saying you are never the same after narcissistic abuse? After the hurt, you're newborn, more aware, more powerful, more knowledgeable. You start seeing bullshit is everywhere. On the job, on the bus, or on the trains, your friends, family members. By monitoring their activities. Like watching them sleeping with anyone that gives them attention. And statements such as what Lilith said. And I quote. Some women get so much attention that if she's highly attracted to whom I was giving the attention, she will give in. That's the lifestyle of a hoe. Hoes are nymphomaniacs, and nymphomaniacs are narcissists. Many, many of you have friends that are hoes. They will sleep with your enemies, relatives, and other people's spouses without batting an eyelid without an ounce of concern or remorse of how the other person may feel. This is why they were referred to as cum dumpsters. This is what the lack of empathy means. The inability to feel the pain they cause to another. As a matter of fact, think back. Think back to a time where you were crying. Have you ever caught your narc smirking like if, as if it was a job well done? Lastly, there's a saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. It means you can't inform people who don't care to listen. Sometimes survivors attempt to warn the narc's new supply. Don't ever do that. The problem with them, just like you, you didn't care to learn about narcissism because you thought the abuse wasn't going to happen to you. You were wrong. You can't make them comprehend what they don't wish to know. Lilith's mother, her mother, told me, and I quote, even if we told you Lilith's past, you would not have believed us. Also, it would not have been for us to tell you that. And she's absolutely correct. When you're in love, you see everything and you comprehend nothing. There's a West Indian saying, a hard head makes a hard ass. My ass learned narcissism the hard way. And now my head is on straight.